Welcome to Island Baptist Church. Today's children's sermon is Daniel, Unseen Conflict Part 1. Uff. Don't leave me hanging, come on. Come on, I'll scoot closer to me. We gotta get right here. Keep a little closer. I wanna talk to you about something special. Angels. Do you know what angels are? If there was an angel in this building, how would you know? How would we know there was an angel here? What should we be looking for? Wings. Wings, you think so? You know, the Bible doesn't actually ever describe them with wings. We assume that they have that way. We've seen them painted that way. It doesn't say they don't have wings. But it doesn't actually describe him. In fact, every time the Bible describes an angel, it describes it as a man, most often in shining clothes. So if we look around for a man in shining clothes, I haven't seen any. So does that mean there are no angels here? Angels are spirit beings. You're, you're not spirit, well, you are, but you're also physical. See, I can touch you, touch you, touch you, touch. I can't touch you. Maybe you're an angel, are you? Your mama thinks so. But no, angels are only spirit. The Bible says human beings are both spirit and body. So I'm physical and I'm spiritual. The angel is only spirit. And so you can only see them under special circumstances. And that circumstance would be, namely, that God allows you to see them. For instance, in the case of, of Mary and Joseph, Mary and Joseph, in both cases, they were told that they were going to have a son, right? Mary was going to have a son conceived by the Holy Spirit. And that that son, she was to name him Jesus. And he told Joseph the same thing. And uh, then when they had the baby, do you remember what happened? They were living in, in Bethlehem after Jesus was born. And an angel comes to Joseph in a dream and warns him that a guy by the name of Herod is going to be doing some horrible stuff. He tells them to flee down to Egypt. And so that's what they do. They stay down in Egypt until the coast clears. And then an angel comes to them and tells them to go back to Israel. And then an angel tells them not to go to Bethlehem to stay away from there because it's still dangerous there. And they go up to the place called Nazareth, which is where Jesus is born. So an angel comes in all those cases and protects Mary and Joseph and protects the baby Jesus. Why do you think they did, that he did that? Because Jesus is the son of God, right? He's got special status. Do you know that every child of God has special status? It's not just Jesus who has the protection of angels. Did you know that? Bible says that if we seek God as our refuge and our shelter, that is, if we come to him in Psalm 91, tells us that he gives his angels charge concerning us to protect us in all of our ways so that we don't even strike our foot against a stone. Angels actually are real and they're sent by God to do his work, to take care of us. God's got a lot of children, doesn't he? So how many angels do you think he has? I know, I know exactly how many, a bunch. It's a very specific number called a bunch because he's got a bunch of children, right? He's got a bunch of kids and he sends his angels to do those things. We're going to be talking this morning and next couple of Sundays about angels and the other side of angels, some angels that went bad called demons and not, not to scare you even though they can be scary, but we're going to be talking about all those things because they're all things that we need to understand because they're in the Bible. So let's pray and ask God to open our eyes and thank him for his angels and for what they do for us. God, we thank you that you take care of us and that you use your angels to protect us. God, we don't all know what all they do. And we maybe have never, never see them in this life and that's okay, God. We just know that you are directing them, God, because you care for us and that you're sending them, God, to care for us. And care for all your children all over the planet, God, no matter who we are. God, I thank you that we don't have to be afraid of evil things. I thank you, God, because you're, you're bigger than all those things that we can trust you. Lord, we just need to come underneath your shelter. We need to come underneath the shelter of your son, Jesus, and trust him as our savior and allow you to protect us however and through whatever means you choose. Thank you so much, God, that you do that. We praise you, God, for it. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thanks for visiting. Contact us at 956-761-5029 or on the web at www.islandbaptist.org.